So guys, next big doubling of AI progress is gonna be making AI train in FP4, floating point four. It's actually a bit difficult to be honest. I'm not able to find it anywhere. There is, it's not in PyTorch, it's not, I just cannot find it. So let's learn about it and make some steps towards understanding how to do uh, LLM pre-training in FP4 for two times faster pre-training. And then parameter tells PyTorch, this tensor is part of the model's parameters. It will be updated during training when optimizer step is called. So that's how we initialize weights uh, with NN parameter. And then we start with some random numbers and dimension is out features in features. That's the weights matrix. That, that's how we uh, save it. And B float 16 and multiply by 0 0.1. This is Y. So we just want to reduce numbers 10 times. Uh, it reduces our standard deviation, which was one to 0 0.1. So uh, this torch rand n will generate numbers with mean zero and standard deviation one a normal distribution like this has no theoretical limit it just has mean uh, zero standard deviation one but you can have number one million but it's very unlikely so most of the numbers will be around uh, less than one and multiplying with 0 0.1 all of those numbers will make them even smaller so that's how we initialize weights and use BF brain float 16. We initialize bias with all zeros. So same output features, uh, same rows and BF 16. So then we have quantized weights in FP4 and quant state needed to dequantize them. So scale, and I don't know if anything else, we'll see later. So quantize weights uh, function will just pass our uh, weights with float convert them into float a float version to this bnb quantize fp4 function which will convert them uh, i recorded last video this video uh, 4x llm training speed you can check that video so if it's training it's gonna do the normal math move without quantization so the normal forward pass but during inference there is an option to do it quantized so it can either dequantize weights uh, if it's quantized. If it's quantized, then we dequantize because during forward pass, we want to do calculations in full precision, not in quant. Quant is just for memory and for transfer between memory in the GPU, GPU memory and GPU processing units. But in processing units, we will do math mul in full, uh, full FP32, BF16 or FP. 16 i think fp32 it's is always used even if it's stored in bf16 fp16 so nvidia gpus have uh, b float matrices often compute computed in b float 16 but accumulation so sum of partial products is usually in fp32 for better number stability so in matrix small all or vector product we do multiplication in BF16 or float, floating point 16, but the sum of those products accumulation in FP32, which is shown here. So multiplication 16 bit and accumulation or sum of 32 bits. And this leads to better precision because otherwise there will be too much error accumulated. Then we have this mixed precision network. So we will just have these FP4 linear layers. Uh, we have an issue here. I want to do training in FP4 as well. So we will fix that. But let's just understand how all of this works. So, so what does uh, layer norm do? Let's say you have a vector. It has 1,550. Those are dimensions and this is funny thousand so it's too big so we want to see what layer norm does how it fixes in this because this could uh, make some numbers gradients and stuff explode and numbers shouldn't be this big and you cannot use this to neural network first it calculates mean 351 for this vector so sum and divide by the number of elements and then subtract mean so we center the vector, it's 
600 minus 300 minus 300. And then calculate standard deviation. So first variance is gonna be uh, square and sum squares and divide by the number of elements. And then square root of that is standard deviation, 458. So what does uh, standard deviation intuitively show? I would say average distance from mean, but it's not quite because we take average square distance and then we root the average square distance. So uh, the difference between standard deviation and average distance from mean is standard deviation will be higher if we have these big outliers because it's squaring. So if there is like, so it's, it, it will be higher than just the average distance from mean if we have outliers. So we divide by standard deviation and now you see they all got around one. So they get clumped into this nice space around uh, zero, one, minus one, a bit more maybe. So this space is very nice for neural networks because we are multiplying a lot of numbers. And if we are multiplying big numbers, then this could uh, cause to big values that cannot be represented or big values that have huge gradients and uh, they mess with gradients because just because they're big numbers, not because they reduce loss. So we just have these two layer normalizations, first layer norm and second layer norm, to just keep those numbers nice and stable. And the forward will be X converted to B flow 16, and then pass through first linear, which is our FP4 linear, and normalize and ReLU, and uh, then second linear normalized ReLU, and then lastly, we just pass to the last linear and take raw outputs. We also have this function quantize all weights that will just go quantize all of the weights of these linear layers, and that's it. So now we generate some A array here and B array, and then X and Y, so let me show you. A is gonna be these integers, B is gonna be list of integers, and then we group two and four, that's gonna be first x, five and two, that's gonna be second x, and then we sum up these two, that's gonna be first y, sum up these two, second y. Besides that, uh, we just check, we have CUDA, check if it's on CUDA, and then we have Adam W Optimizer, and MSC Loss, and then uh, Learning Rate Scheduler, so we could set fused equals true but i don't know if this will work um maybe maybe it will not so this should be just faster but sometimes it doesn't work with some maybe this data type or something i'm not sure so i told it to i want a forward pass to also be in uh, fp4 so now it changed all of my uh, parameters to fp32 for gradients ac accumulation we'll see about this FP32. I feel like Claude is just not capable of writing neural network in FP4. So we need to find uh, some code online. So this is interesting. MXFP4. So uh, this is FP4 format with one sign bit, two exponent, and one mantissa. And the trick here, instead of encoding each value individually, it's encoding a block of values, typically 32. Uh, and sharing uh, eight bit scaling factor. So this is taking 32 values from, for example, float uh, 60 or not 60, maybe 32 or 16 and uh, scaling them down to FP4 and also storing the scaling factor into eight bits so it can get scaled up uh, to the same numbers because you know that in FP4, you can just represent 16 different numbers. While in FP16, you can represent like, I think a lot. Is it millions? I'm not sure. So OpenAI reportedly used this MXFP4 on 90% of models weights, which was the new OpenAI OSS, GPT OSS. Besides this, uh, there is also another NVFP4, which is by NVIDIA, and they claimed it's better than MXFP4. It's very surprising to me that no AI can implement or find FP4 on the internet at all. Gemini is just showing me like future hypothetical versions of PyTorch and Catlas. 
So I just cannot find anything. One way to do it is store four bits into memory and then dequietize and do computations in BF16 and have FP32 optimizer states. I found this documentation that actually describes how to use bits and bytes to implement uh, FP, a FP4 linear layer. So Claude implemented it for me. So we just use BNB neural network. Is it uh, NN? So bits and bytes dot NN as BNB NN. And we have bits and bytes optim optimizer. So we just say linear FP4 and pass in input size, hidden size, bias true. Uh, perform math moves in BF16 and compress statistics for memory efficiency. I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> and then storage type for quantized weights. Ah, okay. We are just packing two four bit weights into one uh, uint8 storage uh, byte. So you can pass quant type as FP4. But quant storage is in u int 8. Then we define the second layer, the third layer, and in forward pass x to bf16, and then pass x through the layers. We have this issue again, so we are teaching it to some two numbers, but I feel like he's just predicting the some like some eight or nine or something. So this is super tough, guys. So. First of all, AIs cannot figure out how to do this quantization. Secondly, I don't even know how to like, I cannot even write a simple neural network. I've been trying for like half a day today <laughs> just to add numbers. I don't know how to do it. So maybe we will try to learn this with time, try to uh, hope for some papers or maybe some tools. We'll see. Check out my other videos on my channel and see you next time.